Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, here to show you how you can upgrade your Corsair IQ link system with an LCD screen that will show you temperature readouts, GIFs and more. This is a nifty little upgrade for your system which looks pretty clean and as you can see doesn't have any extra cables coming out of it, but there are potentially some problems like this triangle of doom that you can see here. Now I'm going to show you why that happened and how to fix it or how to stop it happening in your system in the first place and then how you can end up with a nice looking system as I've got here in the Ilian Lee Evo RGB. Now the IQ Link LCD screen upgrade module will work with H100i, H150i and H170i IQ Link system all in one coolers. It's a nifty little upgrade which is pretty easy to install I'm going to show you the process for that and inside the box you basically get the pump head screen and two cables. Now I'm going to show you how to do this outside the case but you can actually install this with it already in your system and it should be fairly straightforward depending on what you've got set up in there and how you're going about doing it. You do need a USB-C connection, which actually connects into the system itself, but not the pump head, so you don't end up with that extra cable jutting out, which is nice. And I'll show you where to plug that in a minute. And then you've got this splitter cable, which takes two USB connections and turns them into one, so you can plug that into your motherboard with ease. Obviously, you've already got a USB connection running from the IQ Link controller, and now you're going to have one additional one which will need to be run in order for the display to work properly so that you can then customize what's shown on it. Now the process for removing it is actually really straightforward because you just pull off the old one, the standard pre-installed one, and then pop the new one on. You'll notice when you do pull it off that it has the pins inside for the connection there so you can see the difference between them if you put them side by side. Obvious upgrade here but really simple. There's no screws, it's just a swap and push in connection but it only goes one way but obviously you can change the display and what that looks like within core sales iq software and that's straightforward enough to do and i'm going to show you the tweaks for that now i want to show you some other things in here while i go through the process that i did including letting you see how i accidentally foolishly uh, upgraded my system by flipping the fans the wrong way around so that the corsair logo is upside down if you notice that at the beginning of the video you'll see we've now got sinking ships but the idea here is i wanted to put these fans into intake because i was mounting them on the side of the case so the cabling for this is interesting because i wanted to talk about this briefly because while i was doing this is basically just installing the fans in a different way around and making sure the cables are connected from the fans to the radiator i realized during this process that i couldn't see where the usb connection goes for the pump because it is meant to run from this from the radiator but there it is hidden under one of the cables so in the installation i had set up previously the way i'd run the cables is actually blocking that usb connection so if you're wondering where it is it's on the radiator there maybe it's hidden under one of your cables so just have a look for that now one downside to this system is you'll notice obviously this usb connection isn't right angled like the other cables so it does end up sticking out which may well be a problem depending on where you've mounted the radiator because it may be visible in your case which is something to think about and a bit of a downside to the system now again, I want to quickly remind you how to connect this up. So that USB cable runs to that USB splitter that I showed you earlier on and then plugs into the motherboard. Obviously, I'm showing all of this so it's really visible. The other USB connection running from the IQ Link controller. I've done a separate wiring guide on the IQ Link system. If you're not sure about this, I'll link to that in the description. But both of these plug into that USB connection and then into the motherboard. These are essential so that you can control everything via IQ fan speed the rgb lighting and obviously the new display as well obviously if you happen to have it you could just install each of these to one of the ports on the motherboard if you're using other things though and you've already got one of those usb ports set up then you might want to use this splitter but most modern motherboards have two usb connections so you could plug one into each or use the splitter and plug it into that single one the other key thing to bear in mind with iq link is the number of devices that you can have connected to one hub so the iq link controller is able to control up to 14 different devices separately seven per side so you need to use two connections probably into this control depending on what you've got now i have six fans that are connected to the case on one side and then the other devices is three fans and the radiator and the display now i want to make a point of that 
because what I discovered was with the Triangle of Doom, the reason that was appearing was because I had uh, too many things connected. So I was trying to run the radiator and the three fans, additional fans, and the display all off one side. So you may well need to think about a cable kit or the connections there, because the other thing I found was it was really difficult to run the cable. So what I ended up doing was the top fans and the bottom fans in the case that you see in a minute, they were connected together and then looped into the IQ Link controller. And then the radiator was basically separate because the radiator, the fans on it, and the IQ Link LCD display are all treated as separate devices and you can only have a maximum of seven because if you're trying to then connect up the fans together and the radiator and the display, it wouldn't work. So something to bear in mind, if you've got a problem, that may well be it. So here you can see I've got a lot of cables to run into the back, but it does work. Then you run into IQ Link's system setup and you go into the screen section and then obviously you can change through various different screen types. You can then choose from all sorts of different things, including the CPU temperature, the GPU temperature, the current load at the systems under on the CPU, or other things. There's lots in the drop down. You'll notice that you can obviously change the colors of the bars as well, so you can customize that. You can choose through various different displays, fade, fill, the aperture, dynamic bar, di dual bars, and others. And you can choose the colors and what that looks like and how it's displayed on there and obviously pick through a variety of them. I'm showing some of that in action now, so you can see what that looks like with Fade Fill, for example, and then select through various different options. The dual setup is my favorite, the dual bar one, because that lets you see both CPU and GPU temperatures at the same time, for example. But there's plenty of different things that you can go through here and choose from. The other thing I will note is if you are having any problems with IQ Link, it may well be worth checking for firmware updates and software updates to IQ, which you can do for either settings cog. I've done a separate couple of guides on IQ system and also an IQ link that I'll link to in the description that might help if you're having any problems. But what I've found is this works really well. Now, one of the other things obviously that you can do is images and GIFs. So you can see that you have the option to use a few different images. Of course, there's got preloaded and there are standard or you can select your own, which I'll show you how to do in a second. One downside though, is you don't seem to be able to mix in the images and GIFs with a dual display of temperature readouts, which is a bit of a shame because you can do that in other systems, like Lee and Lee's Galahad 2, for example. The LCD screen on that has that. Maybe Corsair will add this in future because it'd be really nice to have your own images overlaid with the data on your system, I think, personally. I think that looks really nice. But just being able to see this stuff at a glance is obviously a nice upgrade to the IQ Link system anyway. Now to get GIFs, obviously just head over to your favorite place to get GIFs, Giphy for example, find a GIF that you like and then save it as a GIF on your desktop or in a relevant folder. I'm using the downloads folder on here. Just give it a name so you know what it is. Make sure it's a .gif file and then head over to IQ, go into the GIF section and then just add it. So you can then just easily put your GIF in and then adjust it. And the thing here is you can also make it bigger and smaller, and drag it around to fit it into the right position. So you can see this one, Steve Carell, for example, is not quite the right size. You can adjust it, reposition it and make it look nice the way you want it. And obviously the IQ Link RGB lighting can also be adjusted in IQ as well. You can get that to sync with your fans in the system and adjust that lighting around the outside you see it's got this nice opaque shell on it so you can see the rgb light there and then you have the finished product hopefully this is an interesting insight into this upgrade and things to bear in mind when wiring it up this has been the provoke prawn if you enjoyed subscribe and come back for more You've made it right to the end of the video, you brilliant legend you. If you've enjoyed it, click that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and drop me a comment down below if you've got any questions. If you really enjoyed it, consider joining the channel and see the benefits of doing so. Check out these other videos. You might well find them interesting or useful. And most importantly, have a great life.